so uh, this in this video we are going to solve question number four of assignment so in this video no we are given this function fx is one when x is rational number and zero when this x is irrational number so we want to prove that fx is not integrable uh, in the previous video i have already gave the definition of what do i mean when we say f a b to r is integrable <coughs> and i have also written it here we will actually proceed by contradiction we will assume that this function f is integrable and then we will show that that this uh, we will get a contradiction so that is not possible and fx is integrable so here we are uh, suppose f is integrable then there exists j belongs to r uh, for uh, such that for every epsilon we will get a delta such that for any partition like this x0 x1 to b of a b if the norm of p is less than delta ck belongs to uh, and ck is can be anything in fk minus 1 to xk this summation f c k delta xk minus j is less than epsilon so uh, let's choose epsilon is equal to half then we will get p is equal to 0 x1 x uh, i'm choosing a partition 0 x1 x2 2 1 now actually if our f is integrable for any epsilon is equal to half any epsilon greater than zero i am choosing epsilon to be half so we will get a delta right so uh, let me write it out there exists delta and uh, so choose choose a partition uh, such that We'll get a delta greater than zero so we will choose a partition such that delta p i mean sorry this norm of p is less than delta uh, we can do that uh, you just take zero to one and if delta is something like this this quantity then just uh, take this take your x1 to be delta by two x2 to be delta then next thing is c delta by 2 so each one is separated by delta by 2 so your delta xk keep choosing this way until you hit something like this where after if you take delta by 2 this thing if you add delta by 2 this will go outside one so then you take this thing the last one to be x and to be one only so if one is not a multiple of delta by two then obviously delta by some multiple of delta by two will exceed one you just the previous one will be x n minus one so this is equal to this, this this point is actually what the first point is zero I mean zero point first point is delta by two second one is two delta by two which is delta then third one is three delta by two this will be let's say yeah so this will be the xn minus one will be n minus 1 into delta by 2 okay so you do this let me write it more clearly x n minus 1 is n minus 1 delta 2 and x and this is x n is equal to 1 so now you can see that all the this delta x size 
डिजिटल टैक्स के एक से माइनस वन इज एक्चुअली डेल्टा बाय टू इच वन इज सेपरेटेड बाय डेल्टा बाय टू एक्सेप्ट द लास्ट वन इट मे बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा बाय टू इफ द वन इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ डेल्टा बाय टू और एल्स आई मीन द डेल्टा बाय टू इफ यू एड टू एक्स एन माइनस वन इट विल एक्सीड वन सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस एक्स एन दिस डेल्टा एक्स एन इज इक्वल टू एक्स एन माइनस एक्स एन माइनस वन दैट विल बी ऑल्सो लेस देन डेल्टा बाय टू सो या सो द नॉम पी विल बी वट Norm P will be maximum of this or this or uh, all of this delta x k, which is delta by two, and uh, this is also less than delta by two. So this is uh, maximum of delta x k, and this is equal to delta by two. Okay, so now which is delta by two is less than delta. So Just highlighting this point, this partition satisfies this. So here, this p this satisfies this delta, delta p. I mean, norm of p is less than delta. So now uh, for this partition, this condition is true. We can choose any c k between x k minus one to x k, and x k minus one and x k are distant real numbers because delta by two, the the difference delta by two. Or a positive thing. Okay, you cannot take x k minus one is equal to x k. All the these are diction point. So there is a gap between them, and so they are distant real numbers. So between any two distant real number, there exists a rational number. So pick that rational number as c k for all c k. So f c k is equal to one because you are choosing rational numbers. Okay, so if you do that, then This will be f c k will be one and this will just be summation of k is equal to one to n delta x k. So if you all add all that delta x k, you will get actually what x uh, delta x one plus delta x two plus delta x three till delta x n and delta x one is x one minus x zero. Then delta x two is x two minus x one. So all of them will cancel out like this. See. Delta x one plus delta x two till delta x n. This is the thing, right? So this will be x two minus x one. Sorry, this is x one minus x zero plus x two minus x one plus x three minus x two till x n minus x n minus one. So you can see x one and x one is cancelled out. X two and x two will cancel out. X three will cancel it with another term there. You will only get x zero and x n. This one will be also cancelled out. You can figure out. So x n is actually our b and x g is our a. In this case, this is one minus zero because our a is zero, b is one. So this will be one only. Okay, so. That's why there is a one here. Okay, one minus j. This is less than half. Uh, then one minus j lies between minus half to half. So now you add one both side. This will be half to three by two minus j. And then you multiply by minus one. The sign will change. So it will lie between. Half to three by two. Okay, so now you similarly choose same partition. Now you choose C K to be x in x K minus x K to be uh, a irrational number. Okay, now x K minus one are distant real number. There exist irrational number there. So now do uh, f C K will be zero because for irrational number. The f f x is zero. So this is zero minus j is less than half. 
now this is j which is between half and minus one so j, j is less than half j is greater than half this is the contradiction this uh, this cannot be true so one and two give us the required contradiction and so this is not integrable and our proof is complete and thank you for watching this video